I think it's safe to say that I have got quite a large quantity of experience when it comes to storage systems in Minecraft. I mean, if we take a look at the Hermitcraft server right here, I have got this rather enormous storage system for my industrial district. I've got the sorter that you can see up at the top right there. I've got storage systems over there. I've also got a massive storage system off in this direction as well that involves a whole ton of storage silos. Basically, I really like storage systems, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite redstone contraptions that should help you out with building your own. See this little thing right here? It, it doesn't look particularly exciting, does it? I mean, it's five blocks tall, four blocks wide, three blocks deep. We've got some redstone going on, some comparators. It just looks like your average redstone contraption. But this thing right here can store up to 100,000 items. Now, that, that is a lot of items. And the way that we do it is we fill up shulker boxes. So you can see right here, this shulker box is being filled up with diamonds. By the look of things, we've got a highly efficient diamond farm. I'm going to speed things up a little bit because when this thing fills up, you can see that the shulker box gets broken, dropped it into these hoppers right here, it ends up in this chest, then the new shulker box is dropped out, and that will begin to fill up with items as well. How cool is that? It's absolutely tiny, and 100,000 items in this chest. If you had 10 of those chests, you would have a million items. It just doesn't even feel like Minecraft anymore. Design number two features shulker boxes once again, which I know is really quite expensive, but I personally love shulker boxes and I want to use them all the time. However, these are the only two designs in today's video that feature them, so stop writing that angry comment down in the comment section. If we hit this button right here, you can see that the piston extends, it pushes off the shulker box, and then a new shulker box is dispensed so that we can store all of the items in it. So we have a bunch of items in this one, then we hit the button and the next one pops up. This one could be filled with quartz. Then we hit this button and this one is filled with grass and other green various different items. And then this one is filled with hardened clay. This one is filled with water, maybe lapis, blue wool. There's really not that many blue blocks in Minecraft, but you guys get the idea. This system is really customizable and could work nicely in tight spaces where you've got lots of area under the ground, but not too much space for a storage system above the ground. For example, a dirt hut. This thing looks really, really good in a dirt hut. I, I love this place. Design number two is for those of you who have got lots of space, who want a really cool way to display how many items they have using what's known as a storage silo. So here we have a double chest and we also have a bunch of double chests going up the back right here. And gradually, as this system fills up, it will light up all of our redstone lamps. So down at the bottom, we have got this double chest. It is filled to the brim with items. And also, this hopper out the back is beginning to fill up with items as well. So that has powered this comparator, which powers the bottom redstone lamp. Now, say, for example, this entire hopper was to fill up. And also, this entire double chest was to fill up with items once again. So we're getting huge quantities of items right here. And then eventually, this hopper right here was to begin filling up as well. You can see it powers the comparator and boom, second light has turned on. And the same thing goes for all of the redstone lamps going upwards and you could expand this as high as you really wanted to. I personally have gone for the five block high design because that's already a crazy amount of storage, but you could go right the way up to the build limits if for whatever reason you really <laughs> fancy doing that. For those of you who watch my Hermitcraft series, this little thing right here shouldn't need any form of introduction. This is known as the ender station. When we hit this button, we get exactly... Well, we're meant to get exactly one full stack of ender pearls, but clearly, <laughs> I'm not I'm not particularly athletic. Okay, look at me. I'm in a suit, all right? How am I meant to catch these sorts of things flying through the air? I, 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 I can't move in this thing. It's like a, a properly tailored suit. I can't even get my arms above my head. Look, it just does, doesn't work particularly very well. But this thing right here works absolutely brilliantly and as you can see i mean can you even call it a red is this even a redstone contraption <laughs> i mean seriously there's absolutely nothing going on following on in a similar vein to that thing we now have the 64 item dispenser now this was a little bit more complicated to work out you can see we've got some pulse extenders and some burnout clocks going up at the top here but it does work brilliantly as well. We hit this wooden button and you can see all of the items start flying out towards you. And once again, I, I think I've run into the same issue. I promise you, okay, I swear on my life, pinky swear to the highest of heavens, <laughs> you do get exactly one full stack of items from this thing. And you actually get it surprisingly quickly. I mean, it didn't take long at all to dispense out all of his items. It's almost as fast as just going into a chest and picking them out. 
That thing over there was the vertical storage silo. This thing over here is the horizontal storage silo. So instead of filling up vertically, this thing fills up horizontally. Now you don't you don't need a university degree to work that one out. As you can see, we have got a whole bunch of diamonds inside this area right here, and if they were to go into the top, they would eventually start filling up all of the chests. You can see that this hopper is filled in, this chest is also filled, and it will also fill up the hopper. Eventually that will be filled, and then all of the items will start going across into the next line of hoppers, and that means that it will start lighting up all of the redstone lamps. I actually think I might prefer this one to that one. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And finally we've got the anti-storage system. This is a bin, a rubbish can, some way that you can throw all of the items that you don't want anymore. All you do is you place them inside this chest and as you can see the system will begin to drop them out. Now I personally am just dropping them out into the void because of course that gets them out of your world but you could dispense them into a cactus or lava or potentially into another storage system to store away all of the items that you don't really want. It may seem daft, but the number of times I've thrown away things that I later need is, is high. It's very, very high, so that's just something to keep in mind. So those are all of the smart storage systems for today's video. I hope you like all of the designs. Now it is time for me to show you how to build each and every single one of them. So for design number one, you want to get things started with a 4x3 area, and the first thing we're going to do is place in the chest. This is going to be storing 100,000 items. Yes, 100,000 items. Completely ridiculous. Now what we have to do is run two hoppers up like this. We're going to have a half slab right there, and then we're going to have a regular piston facing across like this. And this spot right here is where our shulker box is going to be dispensed. You just want to place one in like that, and then we can have a hopper running into the back of that dispenser with a double chest up like this. That's where you're going to be storing all of your shulker boxes. And on this block right here, we're going to have a hopper, and that's going to be all of the items from your automatic farm running down into the shulker box. Then you just want to place a comparator running out in that direction right there on top of the hopper and then you just want to place in a block right here we're going to have another chest right there there's lots of chests in this design we're going to have a comparator running in like this and then you want to fill it to the brim with whatever item you want to that can be dirt it can be iron blocks it could be diamonds if you're feeling really rich just fill the chest right the way up and that comparator signal will run into the side of that comparator right there which is going to be controlling how full this shulker box needs to be to be pushed off and put down into the system. So then all you want to do is place a block up like this, some redstone there, a block up like that with a redstone torch right there. That's going to be powering our dispenser. Then down underneath you just want to place in a half slab with a repeater running off in this direction. Yeah, a, a, a repeater. I didn't have one in my inventory. So then you want to place a block up like this, blocks going around like this, all the way around there, block up like that with redstone dust running into the bottom of your piston. Then you just fill up this chest right here with a whole ton of shulker boxes. And when your shulker box that's been dispensed fills up, then it will be pushed off, put down into the chest, a new one will be released, and so on and so forth. Design number two is a tiny bit bigger. You're going to want a five by five area. And the first thing you wanna do is go a couple blocks up like this, place in a stone button right there, then a piston facing across like this, a dropper facing upwards right there with the dispenser facing upwards there which is going to be chucking out your shulker box. Then we're going to do all of the hoppers. So you want to run a hopper into the side of this dropper here, run the hoppers out like this, all the way around like that, back around there and then across like this and up into that area there. So the shulker box is going to be pushed across, put it into this hopper and then this is where all of the other shulker boxes are all going to be stored. Now, to link up this entire system, what we're going to do is place in some redstone dust down at the bottom. We're going to have a repeater, which is going to be running up into this block right here with redstone dust on top, sticky piston right there, block, and then two repeaters, one of them set to one tick, one of them set to two ticks, with a block up like this, and a redstone torch there with redstone dust on top of all of these hoppers just like that. Then you want to pop around to this side, you just want to place in blocks going across like this with repeaters, set to four ticks on each and every single one of those. Now that is the system all fully completed. So now what you need to do is place in a shulker box up at the top like this, and then place one shulker box in every single one of these hoppers. So you can see each one of these hoppers has got a different shulker box on the inside, and they all cycle round. 
Design number three requires a three by five space. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the actual storage silo area. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And that is going to be the height of our area right there. So we're going to place in all of the redstone lamps going up like this. And then next to this redstone lamp right here, we're actually going to punch out that block and we're going to place in a double chest with an upside down half slab right there to allow us to actually open it. Then all we have to do is we run a hopper into the back of that one and then we place in a double chest and then a hopper and then a double chest and a hopper. And yeah, you guys get the idea. We run all the way up like this until the final hopper is in line with that redstone lamp right there. So there we go, that is the storage system done. Then we just run a comparator out from this hopper straight into that block right there. So once again, we're going to do the same thing on this side. So line up with the hopper, place in your block, and then place in your comparator. And it gets a little bit easier as you go down because of course you just place in the comparator directly under the previous block. So this one right here is going to have to go on a slab because otherwise you won't be able to open this chest. Now for the final redstone lamp, it is a tiny bit more complicated, but all you have to do is just place in a comparator running out like that, a block up like this, and then some redstone dust on top of that block right there, and then take a repeater output that's going to run across like this, and then just have some redstone dust running into that block. So we go, that is the storage silo done. Design number four is so simple that I don't think it requires any form of tutorial. We've got a wooden button, two droppers up at the top like that, redstone torch on the back of the wooden button, and then this little three block circuit right here, and that will do it. 16 items being dropped out really nice and easily. For the 64 item dispenser, you just want to place a block right there with a dropper facing across like that. Then you want to place in a whole bunch of blocks right there, and then another dropper there, a block up like this, and then another dropper there, and another dropper there as well to create this sort of system. Then you want to place a wooden button on the face of that one right there, with blocks going across like this. We're then going to have a block up like that in that corner, and a block right there with redstone dust there, comparator, comparator, and then redstone dust to create a pulse extender. Then you want to run a redstone line up and across like this, with a repeater running into that block and redstone dust just like that and that will power everything chucking out an item but the good news is is that that will actually shut off the system because we are now going to create a redstone burnout clock so you want to place in three redstone torches and blocks on top of all of those and then just like last time if we hit this button you can see that well it all functions we get tons upon tons of items really really quickly 64 to be exact Horizontal storage silo time. So we place up a bunch of redstone lamps going across like this, then we have a whole bunch of blocks going across like that, a whole bunch of blocks going across right here with a whole bunch of repeaters going across just like that. Okay, so that is the first part done. Redstone torches right there. Now it is time to actually place in all of our chests. So we're going to place in double trap chests and then double regular chests and then double trap chests and double regular chests and you can do this storage system as high as you want to i personally i'm just going to be doing two blocks high because that makes life a little bit easier but then you want to place in a whole bunch of hoppers like this we're going to have a bunch of hoppers running across the top as well so that's where your items will be feeding in from whatever farm or anything like that you have and then what we have to do is take a comparator output from this second hopper right here, or the top hopper of your storage system. Because when that redstone lamp comes on, you want to be saying, hey, this line of chests is now full. We are now starting to fill up this line of chests, if that makes any sense. So we're going to take the comparator output from this hopper right here, and we're going to run that into a bunch of sticky pistons facing downwards with blocks on all of their faces. And finally, the redstone bin. Now, I don't think this really requires too much of a tutorial as it is incredibly timely and only involves one redstone circuit. The only thing I will say is I would suggest using a trap chest on top so then you can place in a whole bunch of items and you go, oh, actually, I want to keep those. They will all be stored in there because, of course, it's powering the hopper and they will only start flowing into the system once you close up that chest. But all you have to do is take a comparator output from this dropper, redstone there, redstone there, Blocks up like this, a block right there, repeater, and redstone. Take your screenshots, get every single angle you possibly can, or better yet, download this redstone world, because you can find a link to that one down in the description. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 
That is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.